Hello, it's James again, and today I'm back out again in my local woodland. Uh, I'm currently in a lovely little kind of opening in the woodland. As you can see, there's some big trees around me, but nothing too bad. And if uh, I spin you round, you'll see that down here, someone has made a wonderful little positioning station and posing station for local wildlife. So this wasn't built by myself, someone else has come down and done this. Uh, I'm not sure who, but whoever it was I'm very grateful for. And it just gives the birds a place to kind of perch and, you know, sit and feed and have some photos. Now, speaking of birds, I don't usually tend to bait, but I know that this area is very well fed and looked after by local walkers and such. So I've picked up some of the food that they've left on different feeding stations and I'm just going to redistribute some down here and as you can see there's these lovely little grooves that allow us to hide the food so that we get lovely pictures and videos of the wildlife without necessarily having a big pile of food in the picture so I'm just going to load up this little section here and once I've done that I'm going to go set my camera and tripod up and go have a look what we can see arrive. So I've just sat down and the birds have started to arrive. The camera's all set up, as you can see, and I've realized I've forgotten my SD card. But rather than letting that ruin my day, what I'm gonna do is just sit and enjoy the wildlife without wanting to take pictures. And I'm gonna set up my little camera as close as I can get it to the action. So hopefully we'll get some nice scenes of the birds feeding. So I'm going to go set that up and I'll talk to you once I've finished. Thank you. 
So that wasn't what I initially intended for uh, today's video to be. But because I forgot my memory card for this one, it kind of forced my hand a little bit. But what I will say is, this has been a really, really good opportunity to actually watch the behavior of the birds. So being able to see them come in and land and then where they then went to go and eat that food. So I feel like next time I'm down here, I have a better idea of what the behavior of each of the birds are, when to expect them to come, where they're gonna land, and then where they're gonna go back to. Because of course, ideally, you want video and photos of birds without food in their mouths, unless it's natural food. Um, whereas here, of course, because I am baiting, you are getting the peanuts and you know different seeds that you wouldn't naturally find in this type of woodland. And now, just looping back around to that as well, uh, when it comes to wildlife photography, I, I try not to bait at all. Um, this particular area is a bit of an exception. Uh, behind me is actually the cycle path, and a lot of people walk this path every day and feed the birds. So when I do bait these birds, oh, woodpeckers back again, I tend to um, I tend to take a bit of food from one of the feeding tables that are already there and bring it down to this area. And uh, what's really nice about this area is that actually. The west is behind me, so in the afternoons, that area that you were just watching gets lit up by the sun, especially in autumn and spring when there's not too many leaves in the trees. But, uh, yeah, it's just a fantastic bit of woodland, and I've really enjoyed just actually taking it all in. And yeah, I'm a little disappointed that I didn't bring my main card. I could have got some lovely photos of some tree creeps up in the trees and some of the birds you saw on those perches too. Uh, and possibly even the woodpecker. But, like I say, a happy little accident really. But uh, that's my lunch break over for today. So I'm gonna head back home now and uh, I will catch you all next time. So thank you for joining me and I shall see you next time. Ta-ra.